Welcome to a brief tutorial on how to write a great customer service email. These are the topics that we will cover during this video. If you have any questions, please let me know by writing under comments. What makes it great? It should be clear, concise, professional, and correct. When we say clear, it should have no ambiguity, cryptic explanations, non-standard shorthand or abbreviations. It should also include correct spelling and grammar. Concise, it should be as brief as possible including all necessary information in your email message to make a decision or to do something. Accuracy is critical. You should always maintain it by drafting the right information. It should be professional. Do not write email to a client in a way you write to your friend or family. Read an example of great customer service email writing. Here is a response from the agent. Now let us see what makes it great. It has a very helpful subject line. The agent wrote a clear and useful subject line, which helps a customer know right away that a message is a response to a question. A subject line such as a number does not tell the customer what the email is about. And it could be worse, it makes the customer feel like a number, not a valued customer. Personalized response. A customer who has taken time to write an email deserves to be treated as a person, not a number. This email response addresses the customer by name. Used a personal tone. Answer the question. If you can see, there, was, there is an answer in the email. Try to solve the problem. Provided a possible solution. It used a positive tone. Answered the question. And it uses a polite tone. Close the message with name. That actually leaves a very good message. And you can see there is easy contact information provided. Now here are the traits that will tell that will tell you that how a customer service email can be a great email. Use a helpful subject line, respond on a timely basis, personalize the response, answer all the questions. Make it possible for the customer to take action, solve the customer's problem. Use a polite, positive and a personal tone. Write clearly and simply. Proofread for mechanical errors. Make it easy for the customer to contact you. Write clear and strong sentences. Well, write in active voice. A sentence can be written in active or passive voice. Now, subject of the sentence does the action of the verb. Example. The service department will send you the part you need. The subject of this sentence is the service department and the verb is will send. Subject of the sentence receives the action of the verb. Example, the part you need will be sent by the service department. The subject of this sentence is the part and the verb is will be sent. Because the part is not doing the action of the verb will be sent, this sentence is written in passive voice. Don't confuse the voice with verb tense. Some people confuse the passive voice with the past tense. Voice refers to doer and receiver. Put modifiers in the right place. 
What is a modifier? Well, a word or a phrase that modifies or adds meaning to another word. An adjective can be a modifier. An adverb can also be a modifier. A phrase, perhaps, can be a modifier. Corporate gift sales can send three baskets of fresh fruit to your customers. In this sentence, the adjective fresh is a modifier since it modifies the noun fruit. After receiving 100 email messages in an hour, the manager slowly answered them one by one. Well, here the adverb slowly is a modifier and it adds information about the verb answered. I read the instructions in the owner's manual about installing a new fuse. Here, the phrase owner's manual is the modifier since it is adding information about the source. Write full sentences, not fragments or run-ons. What is a fragment or what is a run-on? Let us see. A fragment is just a group of words, a phrase or a dependent clause, but not a full sentence. Example, to get better acquainted with Invest Now magazine. Run-ons are two or more sentences linked by incorrect punctuation. Example, we have your payment. It was posted on February 22, 2002. How to fix a fragment? Let's see. Join the fragment to a sentence that comes before it or after it. Rewrite the fragment and make it a complete sentence. Example, in order to assist you. That's a fragment. To make it correct, we will say, to assist you, we will keep, we will look up the tracking number you have given us. Another fragment example is enough power to run this program. To correct this one, we have enough power to run this program. Now, how to fix a run-on? Divide the run-on into two or more complete sentences. Use a period at the end of each sentence. I am glad you found us. Please share this information with others you know who would appreciate this unique opportunity. Well, we are correcting it now. I am glad you found us. Please share this information with others you know who would appreciate this unique opportunity. Add a comma and a coordinating conjunction such as and, or, nor, but, yet, so, for. You can send me a short text message anytime. I will receive it on my pager. This is incorrect. Let us see how to correct it. You can send me a short text message anytime and I will receive it on my pager. Choose strong verbs to give your writing power. Strong verbs, weak verbs. Let us see what it is. Strong verbs gives you writing muscle. Strong verbs make your sentences powerful and clear. Weak or bland verbs make your writing less forceful and also will make your sentences less powerful. Now, choosing strong verb sample sentences. If I can do anything else for you, please don't hesitate to notify me. We set a six item minimum per fabric type. When you order our product with your logo applied to it. Let us see an example for weak verbs. If there is anything that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to notify me. There is a six item minimum per fabric type when ordering our product with your logo applied to it. Well, this is the end of this video. If you have any questions or if you would like to gain more tips, do not hesitate to write us under the comments. You can share, subscribe, and like this video and look forward to gain more knowledge 
and we will come back with more videos of these types. Thank you so much for taking time. Have a nice day.